Here we have graphing an absolute value equation in the plane, basic. And so in order for me to graph this, I have to know like the center. And the center you get from taking the inside of the bars equal to zero. So in this case, I would have to take x minus two equal to zero. And if I solve that, I get that x equals two. So when I create a table, two is going to be the value in the middle. And so then I'm gonna pick two values to the left of two on the number line and two values to the right of two on the number line. So we've got one, two, three, four. Um, and so then I'm gonna plug these values in. So when I plug in zero, I get zero minus two, which is negative two. And then the absolute value of that is positive two times six is 12. When I plug in one, I get negative one, which turns positive one times six. Zero times six is zero. One times six is six. And then two times six is 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So then I have zero and 12. Oops, it's up here. And then one and six, two and zero, three and six, and then four and 12. And so we get the V shape here. In the computer, you will plot all the points and then you'll select a button that looks like a ray and you'll select this button and then, or this point and then this point and it'll draw that ray. And then you click it again and you select this point again, this point and it'll draw the other ray. And then you'll have your V shape. So for this one, if I wanna do my center, I'm gonna take what's inside the bars, which is just X and equal it to zero. And there's nothing to solve. So I already know that when I create my table, zero is gonna be the center. So two numbers to the left and two numbers to the right. So put this in, I get two negative six plus six is zero. One negative three plus six is three. Zero is six, one is gonna be three, and two is gonna be zero. Now you can, it might take you longer to figure out these Y values, but all I'm doing is plugging in negative two taking the absolute value of that, multiplying the result times negative three, and then combining that result with plus six. And that's where I'm getting all of these y values from. So I have negative two and zero, negative one and one, two, three, zero and four, five, six, um, one, and three, two, and zero. And so then we get a V that looks like this. And it should be because it is a negative in front.